So what we're gonna do today is shop for some socks so I can find some different variety of socks and then explain the difference between knitted socks, embroidered socks, and sublimated socks. Come on, let's go take a look. get this and be on our way. Hey guys, Danishka Somali back for another video. I've got three different kinds of socks on the table. One's a stance, knitted and embroidered sock. One is a Vans knitted and embroidered sock. And one is a silky sock, sublimated sock. I get asked all the time, what's the difference between a knitted sock and a sublimated sock? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is the graphics on the socks. So I got this van sock, um, I bought this at the mall, actually believe it or not. Haven't bought a pair of socks besides silky socks in like six years. But anyway, let me go ahead and pop this guy open. Get it out of the packaging. Alright, so this has graphics all over the socks. That's why I wanted to buy this one and, and kind of compare it for the video. So if you look, if you look real close with the knit socks, each graphic is sewn inside the sock, on the inside and the outside. What that does is it has limitations to like the actual details of the graphic. If you look at this ice cream cone, it's, it's got like a kind of a, I call it like a Nintendo pattern, like a checkered pattern because of the graphics, right? So that's one limitation with the knitted socks all throughout you. If you look at this mushroom, you have, uh, you know, like the edges aren't perfectly fine. If you look at this dice, you could see that because of the limitations of sewing, you know, like even the cubes aren't perfect cubes. They're like kind of just like, like it looks like a bad Sega Genesis game or a bad Nintendo game with like, you know, old school graphics. Look at this light bulb. So that's one of the drawbacks of knitted socks. But when from far away, it looks cool, but when you really, you know, analyze it and check it, you have those graphical limitations. If you compare that to this silky sock, right, this is sublimated, so what that means is the sock is already constructed and made, made up, and then we print these graphics onto it. So the inside doesn't have any of that knit work that you saw, but the outside has all the print, but I want to show you how sharp it is. Look at the sharpness in this character right here. From his head, to his, his body, his jacket, to his pants, everything is just sharp. If you look at the, the writing, don't reach young blood, very sharp. Let's look at another one. Um, this is a good one. So this one says beast mode. So on this one, you can see the, the lion, very sharp. The, the, the claws of the scratch, very sharp, and the text as well, beast mode. So there's no, like, you know, limitations in terms of the print quality. If you have a good high quality logo, you could output it and sublimate it directly onto these silky socks really nicely. All right, uh, let's talk about text graphics, so that, uh, written graphics. So for that, I'm gonna open up this stance sock stance known for some of the best socks quality in the world we're going to look at this logo that says stance on it so again if you look at it if you look close you could see that the letters they i feel like they do a really good job of it with the knit it's it doesn't have too much kind of if you compare it to this one this vans one looks like the knit work is is not as detailed and as fine the stance they must use like real fine needles in, in their manufacturing. So the letters are better, but there's still limitations in terms of if you see the S, it still has that graphics looking thing. If you look at the A, 
not perfectly sharp. So I want to compare it to, say, one of these silky socks. If you look at the text, right? The M here, super sharp. The D, beast mode, very sharp, intricate, nice. So overall, I like the text on the sublimated socks a lot better. Um, so something to look out for when you're, when you're choosing your decision on what kind of socks you want to go with. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is the 360 print. On a knit sock, the machines that, are, that make them actually print the entire sock in one go around. So you can get a nice 360 print, which is nice. On the sublimated sock, the way we do it is we have to lay down the one side, then flip and switch it, and then print the other side. So we do try our best to connect them, but you always end up with a slight disconnect. You can't really see it on that one because we did a really good job connecting them. But I think you can see it more on this pair. Yeah, you can see like the face is a little cut off um, right there and kind of you can see there's a little line on the sides there. So that's because we have to like eyeball roll them and connect them and it's not a 360 print. I always tell my clients sublimation socks is not a 360 print. We print one side then print the other. So even a sock like this there's a slight break in the pattern. Uh, there's like a little bit of a line right there right here on this Kuji sock. You can kind of see the dark line on the on the sides there. Again same thing this pattern we had to print one side, flip it over, and print the other side. So, just something to keep in mind. Uh, knitted socks do allow the 360 and sublimated socks do not. Next, let's talk about the, the interior of, say, a black sock. One of the biggest notions out there why sublimated socks are not good is because people say when you stretch the socks, it's going to show white through. So I'll explain that. That's what I call the interior color. So obviously on this black stance sock, it's an all black sock, the interior is black, you got no issues, like you're good. You could put this on and it's going to stretch and look great, right? So what do we do to alleviate that with sublimation? I'm going to show you. Okay, so I've got this uh, Prime Athletics custom sock we did with the client's logo on both sides. And it's got our black foot, this is the cotton athletic sock, the black foot white top we call it. So. This sock has a white interior, right? So we do two things. Um, so one is, customer might say, how's it gonna look when it stretches? So we do pre-stretch this during production to give you a nice wearability when you actually wear it. So you can see it kind of stretches a little, but not too much, it still looks like a great logo. So that's, that's one thing with these logo socks, I feel like we stretch it enough in production through our process where it still looks great when worn. But what about a sock that has a fully black background, like this one? What do we do to alleviate that? So if you had a black pat background design, what we do is we use our black interior socks. So you can see these socks have a black inner lining, um, so it's got a, like kind of a pattern of black and white. So what that black inner lining does is it allows you to stretch it and see black through instead of white. So now it does reach a limit where the white does start showing through as well because again it's got black and white in it. But you can see that it does help the problem a lot. So comparing the two interiors, you've got the silky socks, black interior with a white. Um, and then you've got the stance, all black interior. So something to think about. Our clients have been really happy with uh, these black interiors, comparing it. This one is a navy foot sock with a navy interior. So again, same kind of makeup. And when you stretch it, you see the navy through. Show you one more. This is the red, red interior, red foot with the red interior. So that's the interior. When we stretch it, you see red through. The next thing you want to think about is how many socks do I need? How many pairs do I need? With the knit process, there's always a minimum quantity involved. If you're getting custom knitted socks, for the most part, I've seen quantities about 120 pairs. There are some places lower that you might be able to get like a smaller quantity, but I've seen about 120 pair minimum on a lot of these. Whereas with our sublimation socks, there's really no minimum. So for bulk orders like team orders or for other businesses, 
Your sweet spot with sublimated socks is usually about 24 to 99 pairs. So when you need 24 to 99 pairs of custom socks, you can definitely go with silky socks. Like, and again, this is a good example of a team custom order. Uh, they got, this client got like about six different designs of 40 pairs each for a total of, let's say 240 pairs. Or we also get clients that have like, you know, 10 designs of 24 pairs each. That's 240 pairs, you know, but you're not gonna be able to get that kind of variety with the knit. But with the sublimated socks, you definitely can, and we can offer that and make that happen for you. And another cool thing is if you were looking for just one to 11 socks, or one to 23 socks, let's say, you can go on to silkysocks.com onto our design lab and upload your own images and create your own single custom pair. So all day we serve that and with the knitted, you're just not gonna be able to get a single custom pair. It just it doesn't exist because the setup work to set up machines to make this kind of product is tougher. Whereas we've developed the blanks um, where we then have to just output the sublimation sheet over it and uh, create a nice good quality sock. So yeah guys, some common customers we get that are on our design lab making cool socks are like groomsmen, they'll outfit all their their wedding guys with like custom socks. Uh, we get a lot of clothing lines that are within that sweet spot of like 24 to 100 pairs per design. Um, one of our guys, he always does like all over print kind of stuff like this and he'll have like, he'll have I think he has a collection of 10 designs and he orders like 50 pairs per design. But you know, he's not ready to get into the hundreds per design, so he's right in that sweet spot that Silky Socks can serve. And athletes, team moms, players putting their images onto socks. So it's fun stuff. Definitely check out the design lab this holiday season or whenever you're ready. Hit it up and design yourself something or a gift item for someone else and let me know how it turns out. So my socks of the day are these Golden State Warriors. We call them the Splash Aliens. We've got the alien version of Clay Thompson right there. The other side, we've got the alien version of Stephen Curry, the Shooting Bros, Splash Brothers. Arguably, I think the best shooters in the game, Splash Bros. Let's go. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you see our next video. I'm really grateful for 3,000 subs. And if you are in the sublimation business, we just we have our, our sublimation with Silky Socks group on Facebook growing and people are engaging with it. I'm in there commenting and posting constantly about it, about cool stuff behind the scenes as well. So definitely join, check that out, and I'm excited to see you soon. All right, guys, I'm Danish Kasamali with Silky Socks. Thank you for tuning in to the knitted versus sublimated socks demonstration. And bless your feet. Peace.